to the gym this morning and I am back from the gym um, it was a good workout I was able to get in a couple of miles and we had three of the kids with us today they went to the gym with us so it was a family gym day you might as well say um, but I'm really trying to make sure that I'm getting in at least three days in the gym a week more if I can and on off days I'm really trying to do some type of strength training because I'm finding that you know right now I, I really try not to focus on skinny you know I follow Mary Claire Haver I mean y'all if y'all on the same journey that I'm on she is a wealth of knowledge and information and she has been so good you know as I am going through this stage of my life and you know she really teaches um, strength over skinny and that's where I'm at in my workout journey I'm not trying to be skinny you know <laughs> I'm not trying to be skinny. I'm strength over skinny because you guys know as we as we mature our bones and joints and all that stuff, you know, they, they, they're not as strong as they used to be, sis. But if you really focus on strength training, you know, those those falls or little slips and hopefully we won't have those, you know, 
um, but in case we do it won't be a fall that could take you up out of here <laughs> okay because I don't know if you guys know that you know if you fall and break your hip at a certain age if you fall and you break your hip you are 50% you you have a 50% chance of dying in five years from a broken hip say so what now did y'all know that did y'all know that if you are older you fall and break your hip there is a 50% chance that baby you could be meeting Jesus in, in, in five years or less. That woke me up. That woke me up. I want y'all to look at the stats of falling and breaking your hip. And it, they are not promising. So, again, I, I just try to do strength over skinny. But we have some furniture being delivered today, you guys. So I'm excited about that and of course I'm going to share that with you guys. I have two items, at least two if not more, that I have received from Amazon within the last week that I am absolutely loving and I am going to share those with you guys. Made a few little changes um, in the great room and dining room. I'm going to share all that with y'all. So we're going to just, we're going to try to kind of go over a few little home things today so that's what this vlog is pretty much going to be about it is Wednesday um and yeah we gonna it, it, this won't be a weekend vlog but we'll, it, it'll be a short week vlog because I hope to have this out to you guys by Sunday but I want to open up the vlog and say hey and uh yeah I will pick you guys back up um once we get showered and looking like a person okay so as you guys can see the kitchen table bench and chairs have been moved out of this space kitchen still looking a mess we gone <laughs> we'll address that in a moment but uh, it is moved because we are getting a new set today I'm so excited about you guys um, as much as I used to love the set that we had um, it just it just ain't for me it, it ain't for me so um, yeah we're getting a new one delivered I can't wait to show it to you guys I hope you guys love it i definitely do um it's definitely a change from what we had in here before so stay tuned and i will show you guys the new set when it gets here of course they said they'd be here between three and six and they just called us and said we'll be there between 1 and 1 15 and y'all look what time it is Hold on, let me show y'all Can y'all see that? Yep, that's what time it currently is, 12.59. And they come in between 1 and 1.15. Make it make sense. Relaxation, 
Okay, you guys, so um, American Signature just left and the table has been delivered. You guys probably saw a lot of that. Baby, I just had the camera roll and I ain't even, I forgot about it, but let me show you guys what it looks like a little bit up close, okay? So here it is. Let me back up a little bit so y'all can see it. I really like it. Let's see, can I get some more light going on so y'all can really see? Let's turn on some lights so y'all can see. I like it. I, I like the black. I feel like it is a good contrast. And it's even going to be better once I, once we renovate this kitchen. And the counters are going to be lighter and all that good stuff. And all of that. But yes, we went with the black this time. Um just you know just to do something different here's the chairs they do have that linen color seat to it uh, love that the table is oval we want it round but they they didn't have round as an option so we went with the oval and i like it what do you guys think again it is from american signature I will have to get the name for you guys. Of course, you know, we, we just got it delivered. I don't remember the name off the top of my head, but I will share that with you guys. And of course, I'm going to add some decor to the table, minimal decor, because when I tell y'all we eat at this table every single day, every single day we eat at this table. So it won't be a whole lot of decor, but I will add some, okay? And, you know, as I do that, I will definitely um show you guys okay so i do like it do y'all like it let me know in the comments hello you guys um <laughs> it is the next day it is thursday i did not come back on the camera yesterday because it, it really wasn't much going on i thought i showed you guys the table um i just finished out the work day and yeah ate dinner and, and just, you know, chilled out for the rest of the day. So um, today I am on my way to see my doctor, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm excited and nervous all at one time. Um, yes, I've seen her before, but like la this time last year, I saw her. And I did not feel the way I feel now. And y'all, if I'm looking a little weird, these lashes, baby, they 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 decided that they was gonna take the week off. Like a whole clump of them fell out, which I was not happy about. And to top it off, guess what, y'all? My lash tech is out the country for a month. A month, honey. Baby. She went back to her country. Um, she's Asian. Um, and so she uh, once a year she goes back for a whole month to see her family and you know hey I'm for that I'm all for that but y'all I ain't all for these lashes and she told me that she has a friend who lives on the other side of the state of Georgia from me and I was like no honey I can't go to your friend but um what is up with the car? Like my car to me is a little loud. I don't know what it is, but yeah, I pray. The doctor's office is close. And once again, my mind going someplace else anyway. So that's why these lashes looking like this. This, the right eye is doing a whole lot better than the left, but baby, we're gonna find somebody. And hopefully when she comes back in the month, I'll still be a customer of hers because baby, yes. Um, anyway, on the way to see the doctor. And the reason why I say I'm nervous is because I need to have a serious talk with her about hormone replacement therapy. I am so serious about it, you guys. I have read up, I have done my homework, I am ready to advocate. And I like her very much. I like my doctor, but we we gonna be at a crossroad with this one. If she is not on board with HRT, um, I'm gonna have to find somebody else who is. Uh, it's that serious, and I just need my life back, y'all. I need my life back. I I, I realize that um, menopause affects everyone differently, um, and I am definitely not one of the mild cases, you guys. It has been, man, it's, it's been bad. It's been bad. And it was 
wasn't this bad this time last year when I saw her. But oh baby, it's bad now. <laughs> and I have to do something. Like the dread, the fatigue, the, the, the just not being motivated to even get out of bed. It's just a feeling of empty. Like, yeah, it just feels so empty. I, I do not recognize the person looking back at me in the mirror. I, I don't even know who she is. Like, complete stranger. Um, it's, it's terrible. It, it, so, I have to do something. And so, that's what this appointment is about today. work if I need that that's great because I have not eaten anything I'm in a fastest state so I should be okay with giving blood whatever she needs she can check my thyroid you guys already know if you've been around long enough um, I, I did have Graves disease it is currently in remission and it has been in remission for what seven eight years now so I don't think it's my thyroid however I don't know I mean, I need the blood work. Okay, car, don't pull out in front of me, please. Thank you. I need the blood work to see. I, I don't think it's my thyroid, y'all. But even, I, I, I'm so familiar with what it felt like when my thyroid was off. And a lot of the symptoms are similar. You know, if you have a hypothyroid and you're having, you know, issues, uh, complications around menopause, they can look the same. The heart palpitations are the same. Dry skin, hair loss, um, just the anxiety, all of that, all of that can be either thyroid or menopause. But you guys, I've never felt this way before. I've never felt, you know, dread and felt like depression depressed and I hate using that word just so you guys know I hate it but when I tell you guys I have low-key been depressed like can't get, don't want to get up don't want to move to do anything when I tell you it has been so bad y'all it's been so and so yeah, and believe it or not, I'm here y'all, and I literally, I gotta figure out a sweet number I'm going to, I literally just left the house, so she's close. A-101, I've only seen her one other time, so I'm trying to figure out where I'm going. But you guys, please pray, by the time this video goes up, I've already seen her, but I need y'all to please pray for your girl, because baby, this is serious and i mean serious so yeah all right you guys i am here and my appointment is in six minutes so i am going to uh pick y'all up when i'm done or if i feel so inclined to turn on the camera while i'm in there i might do that i doubt it but you know i might all right Okay, my people. Um, it's a little warm. It's so pretty today, y'all. It is so pretty today. And I am all done. And hey, y'all, turn this radio down. Y'all, she was wonderful. She was wonderful. I love it. And I'm going to stick beside her. Y'all. She okay, okay, little children, because I'm trying to back up and I don't want I, I got a mom here that ain't holding on to her little, her little chickadees. You guys, it went so well. She listened, she was not one of them doctors that said, Oh, this is just a new phase of your life and you'll be fine, get over it. No, no, baby, because I was ready. If she said anything like that, I was I was walking up out of there and I was never coming back. But you guys, she was wonderful. She was. She is. I'm so happy that I found her because I literally found her last year because my old um, gynecologist retired. 
And so I was like, okay, all right. She's she's a part of my old gynecologist um, old practice. She was in that practice, a woman of color who, you know, it, it wouldn't have mattered to me if she wasn't a woman of color. If she, if she wasn't black, I still would have probably chose her. But, you know, sometimes we can have specific issues, you know, um, that, you know, a, a, a black gynecologist can't relate to because I believe Dr. Presley is definitely in her 40s. I don't know how far in her 40s because I think it says that she, she's been practicing for 20 years and she's... Um, she graduated med school in 2002. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm trying to figure out which way I want to get up out of here. Um, so, yes, she finished med school in 2002. So, that would probably make her about 40, 45 years old. In her 40s, definitely. And so, she, y'all, it went great. I am officially going on HRT. Um, and I keep using that term and it, for those who don't know it is hormone replacement therapy you guys I have done my homework I have done my due diligence because I can't I, I, I ain't living like this I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not living out my days the you know whether that be 50 more years 60 more years listen whatever it ain't gonna be 60 more years <laughs> but y'all I, 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 I refuse to live out my my years like this way I won't do it so she was so open to HRT you guys she was so open she was like yes she was like there is no reason for you to suffer she said hormone replacement therapy has come such a long way she was like you know there used to be this fear and stigma around hormone replacement therapy but she was like mm -mm, no she was like no we we've come a long way and so what I've read about um, and what I was interested in was estradiol uh -oh, where are you going honey hold on um, estradiol patch you guys i wanted the estradiol patch with progesterone oral so a pill now she was like yes yes she was like i think you'd be perfect for that she was like yeah i mean everything that i suggested and told her that i read about she was like yes yes and she said that she's gonna start me on a low dose of the estradiol and just so you guys know the estradiol is the estrogen it is the estrogen however it has to be taken along with progesterone so that it will not cause any type of cancer she was like you know she was like the, the cancer risks come in when it is not taken correctly and she said we may have to up your dosage she's like we, we won't have to lower it because i'm gonna start you off on the lowest lowest um um, I was going to say setting, but it's not a setting, but y'all know what I mean. The lowest dose. And if you notice, you know, changes that are good, then we'll, we'll keep on going with that. She was like, if not, we can up it. We can up it. If you feel like, okay, I'm not noticing any difference. I, I'm, I'm still having anxiety. I'm still having, you know, palpitations baby i'm still having that's all i'm saying when i tell y'all i have been whew, it baby it's been struggle city over here y'all and listen to me i love my husband so much you guys but if he is breathing too hard it upset my whole spirit baby it's gonna be some slow singing and some flower bringing if this man don't stop breathing hard like it's terrible and i cannot live my life like this i love my man my man my man but baby menopause will make you 
can't stand that man that man that man and so i'm starting it you guys and the thing is i am so looking forward to sharing with you guys my journey because listen baby i'm i'm out here trying to represent for the women of a certain age that's going through the change and i plan on showing you guys and telling you guys what it's like every step of the way but I feel good about this one, you guys. I can't live my life in fear. I don't fear any type of breast cancer or anything like that. I feel like if I can get breast cancer, whether I'm taking it or not. And no, I ain't trying to help it along the way, but you guys, do your research. If you are suffering, and I mean I have been suffering, if you are like me and you have been suffering, you don't have to suffer going through menopause God willing if you live long enough you are going to go through menopause there you don't have a choice at some point you are going to be past your childbearing age and your body will no longer produce estrogen I'm sorry that's just the way it is when we get to the pearly gates baby men and, and Jesus got to have a talk about this Lord why I, I, I mean, I, 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 I got questions, Lord, that I'm going to need you to answer promptly, please. But you will go through it. So menopause is not a choice. You can't hit no button and be like, no, I don't want to go through it. Sis, it's going to happen. So menopause is not a choice. Suffering is a choice. You do not have to suffer. And baby, I'm going to pick up my prescription today, if it's available today. Yeah, yeah. And I'm probably going to get the generic. I'm going to get the generic patch. It works just as as same as the ex more expensive name brand one. I'm going to do the generic estradiol, and I'm going to do the progesterone pill every day. So the patch, just so you know, has to be put on... Oh gosh, I forgot just that fast, but I'm sure it'll be on there. I think I put it on once for two weeks. And then the uh, progesterone has to be taken once a day, every day. And so, yes, babe, we're going on this journey together. Because one thing I'm not going to do is sit back and do nothing. Oh, I, I, I am not going to do nothing. But baby, me and the king, baby, me and the king. Not right now, Lord. I'm not saying I want to talk about it today. <laughs> Please don't get that mixed up. I, 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 I plan on being here for a, a, a long time. God willing, if that's the Lord's plan. So, Lord, I ain't talking about I want to have a face-to-face -face conversation today. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, but baby, we having a talk. I understand Eve was wrong, but baby, this right here is too much. On top of giving birth, yeah, me and Jesus, we're going to have a talk. anti -shay. Oh, Lord. <laughs> um, yeah. And Target. Let's see what they got going on. I'll be here. I'll be here. Okay, you guys. Sorry. I've been here 20 minutes looking for Scotch Guard. They don't have it. And then um, I got on the phone. My boss called, so I need to be back to work. Um, yeah. Let's see it. So this is gonna be a quick, uh, a quick target run. Cause I need to get up out of here. I got things to do, and I do think I am passing by. Let's see here. Oh, they got a cup. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so they have 15% off of the honey pot. Um, stuff. Do y'all use honey pot? I do. I, I like the wipes. And I like the um, sensitive um, this whatever it's called. Oh, sorry. 
I do like the uh, the sensitive um, cleaner. I like that too. So yeah, and it's fifteen percent off, which is good because it's so expensive. And the pot can be very expensive. So yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I got to go. I got to go back to work. I would love to look around a little longer, but y'all, your girl gotta go. Y'all like my shirt? I got this little Barbie shirt. I got this little Barbie shirt. I gotta show it to y'all when I get home, because baby, I'm in a hurry today. Pretty as ashes in Boston. Hey, Jerry, Hello. Hello. Hey, Hello, good people. It has been a, a long time. <laughs> It's been many hours later and I'm so sorry. I wanted to get more footage in Target, but my phone kept ringing. So I kept getting interrupted. Um, I ended up not getting very much at Target anyway. I went in there for some Scotch Guard. I think I told y'all that already. I'm sorry if I repeated myself because it's been hours later. They didn't have a Scotch guard that I needed, so I'm going to end up ordering that from Amazon. And then, y'all, I came back and I went straight to work. Straight to work. And that was it. Like, when I tell y'all I ain't been doing very much, now I am watching the first 48. And yeah, just, you know. Figuring out what I'm going to eat for dinner. William is teaching a class until 10. Um, so, yeah. I'm telling y'all. I, I have been very low-key. Now, I wanted to show you guys some of the items that I picked up. But I think I'm going to hold off till tomorrow to show you guys. Because one of them is window treatments. And now that it's dark out, it's just not... It, it ain't going to give what I wanted to give. So, we're going we're gonna to wait. We're going we're, we're gonna to wait. I am going to show you guys in this video. But, yeah, we're going to wait, okay? Um, and I think that's all I wanted to tell you guys. I'm excited and nervous about starting HRT. The pharmacist did not call me today to tell me that it's ready. So, I'm assuming it will be ready tomorrow. She did say that it's been on back stock a lot. Because she's been prescribing it, but patients have been telling her that it's on back stock. And you guys, I hear it's on back stock because a lot of folks that are transitioning from like male to female, they're they're being given the same um, hormone replacement. Did y'all know that? Listen, I had no idea, but they said that that's the reason why it's been out. Now, do I know that to be a fact? No, because obviously women like myself, they are getting prescribed HRT as well, but they said a lot of it is going to, you know, men that are making their transition to women, which I, I, I never... Yeah, in this day and age, you, you just, you don't know what's going on. But I would have never thought that that would have been the case. So hopefully it'll be ready tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I, I'm going to let you guys know. I'm going to show it to y'all. I think I can show it to y'all. I don't know how YouTube is about that, but we'll see. But hopefully I can show it to you guys. And I'm telling you, I just want to document this. I want you guys to come along with me. And let's just try to figure this thing out. Okay? Yeah. So, that's where I'm at. And I want to come back on here. And y'all, did y'all see my little shirt I got from, um, this is the shirt I got from, let's move it down some actually, from Target. And I didn't get it, of course, obviously I didn't get it this time around. But I did get it. And I thought she was so stinking cute. She is so stinky cute, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. You guys, you guys see that TikTok? They'd be like, "Hey, Barbie. Hey, Barbie. Hey, Barbie." Anyway, I am just a sucker for all of the Target Barbie shirts. Like, I literally have three different Barbie sweatshirts. I don't know. They just keep on pulling me in, but this is my first pink one, so you know. 
it is what it is. Okay, y'all, real quick, because my battery is about to die. Of course it is. I want to show you guys these window treatments, okay? So, you guys, I got these from Amazon. They came in a package of two. This is a 95 length, and they were under $100. They are pinch pleat, sis. Hopefully y'all can see that. They are pinch pleat. This is straight out of the package. No, no ironing, no steaming yet. You guys, the quality is so darn good. It is thick. It is saying blackout. It's not a complete blackout, but definitely you, you, you ain't gonna be able to see through it. It is lined. You guys, it is so, so nice. If y'all know how expensive drapes can be two pages baby if you got two pages money go for it they are the best but this right here is such a good option so many colors you can do pinch pleat you don't have to do pinch pleat they have choices baby and when i tell you these did not disappoint me when i steam them and really get them right they are going to be beauty Fall. I'm going to link these for you guys. They blew my mind because the quality was so darn good. Okay, I got to go change my battery. It's going to be linked below. Hello, lovely people. It has been many days later. <laughs> so, I am about to change my patch. And I was supposed to show you guys the very first time I put the patch on. I was very, very nervous. So, so nervous. Not so much because I think anything's gonna happen to me. I really don't, you guys, because honestly, anything that's gonna make me feel better than what I feel like now is worth it. So no, I didn't feel like anything was gonna happen to me. It was just something different. So I was nervous about it. Um, but I put it on and the biggest thing that I noticed is that the first patch I put on, and just so you guys know, this is a twice a week patch. I'm supposed to change it on Tuesdays and on Fridays. Today is Tuesday. On Tuesday, when I initially, no, my initial patch was on a Friday. The first thing I noticed was that, you know, I felt the same. I didn't have any side effects. I had already asked the doctor, are there any side effects? She said, no, none. I said, I ain't gonna start spotting. I ain't gonna start doing nothing that. She was like, no. And if you do, call me right away. I was like, no breast tenderness, no any of that. She was like, no. I said, am I gonna gain weight? She's like, if you overeat, you are. <laughs> I said, well, I don't plan on doing that. And she was like, well, if you don't eat, you ain't gonna gain no weight on this. When I say no side effects, there are none. So I felt good about that. Um, the only thing I noticed was the next day, the next full day, I did kind of feel like, y'all know how you feel when you're ovulating? Like that little naggy kind of cramp-like pain. I noticed that for that day, but then I haven't felt it anymore since then. So, here we are. But anyway, here's the patch. Here it is. It is estradiol. And I am on 0.5 milligrams. 0 0.05 milligrams of estradiol. Okay, which is basically a bioidentical estrogen and by bioidentical it just means that this is the closest to this is just like the estrogen that my body was producing prior to menopause okay there is a compound version of estrogen that's made at a compound pharmacy um, i think that is derived from horse urine and no, that, this, this is not the one that I am currently taking. So, let me show y'all what it looked like, okay? Okay. okay. 
And y'all can just ignore the fact that I am in my robe and pajamas because this is just where we are. Okay, so I'm trying to get in front of the camera so you guys can see. But this is what it looks like. It's just an extra dial patch. Okay. And I'm going to open it for you guys. Now, the thing is, once you open it, you got to use it. You know, it ain't going to be no opening it and, and not, you got to use it. Okay. So, I just want you guys to see what it looks like in the film. And I've already washed my hands and all that good stuff. But I just kind of want y'all to see it. I'm trying to open it without it flipping and going every which way. Okay. So here it is. Okay. So this little white part right here in the middle. That's inside that film. That's the patch. That's how small it is. Let me show it to you guys. I'm holding it like this. This is how small it is. Some folks say it's like a band-aid. It's actually smaller than a band-aid. Now, my guess is that if and when I need a higher dosage, this patch will be bigger than this. I don't know that for a fact, but that's just my guess, okay? So there you go. I am gonna show you guys. Um, Lord, I'm sure you guys where the current patch is, okay? And it has to go below your belly button. Here you go. Oh, don't look at my stomach because we're working on that, Matt. Don't worry about that. So here's the one that I am currently wearing, okay? It has to go on one side in the front below your belly button. So here's this one, okay? This one has to be removed before I can put on a new one, okay? So there you go. See how small it is? You really can't see it. It's like you can shower in it, everything, it doesn't come off. It's on there, okay? All right. Okay, so because it was over on my right side before, I'm gonna have to place the new one on my left side. And they ask that you not put it, try not to put it in the exact same spot that it was before. So basically you rotate, you know, today's Tuesday. So I took it off this side, I'm put it on this side. On Friday, I'm going to take it from this side and I'm going to put it on this side. So that's basically how it goes. Okay, it's pretty simple, okay. Now the key is to not touch the patch, the sticky part of the patch. Um is to not touch it with your fingers just try to get it it will help it to adhere a little bit better but just so you guys know it does have a little indentation right here wait sorry y'all can see it does have a little indentation right here where you can fold it and that basically makes it easy for you to pry it off so here it is straight up and then you can just fold it you fold it right there and it puts a little crease in there okay once you fold it, the plastic, and hopefully y'all can see this, I'm sorry if you can't, the plastic will peel right off, okay? It comes right off, and you still have a plastic film right here where my fingers are. I don't know if you guys can see that. This still has the plastic on it. So now what I do is I stick this bottom part on first, okay? And again, I'm going to put it like here. And it's kind of hard to see and show it to y'all, but it's pretty much on there. And then now is the time that I pull the other part of the plastic off. And you got to really kind of feel around. There it goes. It's off. And then what you do is you just put your hand there over the patch. And basically your hand is just kind of warming the patch up a little bit. It is giving it a good chance to stick as it should. And basically you just put in the palm of your hand just right over it. 
I don't use it rub too much. I usually just hold it like this for about 10 to 15 seconds. And that's what it says to do on the packet. So you just hold it, hold it, hold it. And then once you do that, you just want to run your fingers around the sides, make sure that everything is stuck on there. I did clean it with an um, alcohol um, little pad first, just to make sure, you know, it's clean and everything, but it always helps, you know, and I just rub my fingers around it to give it a good stick. And there it is. I currently take 100 milligrams of progesterone and I take that every single night before I go to bed. It is advised that you take it at bedtime because sis, when I tell you how sleepy I get almost immediately after taking it, it may take about 15 or 20 minutes. I feel, what well, I say sleepy, but I feel really, really, really relaxed. Like, like this chill feeling just comes over me. A lot of the women in the menopause groups that I'm in say that it makes them extremely sleepy. Like they conk out within minutes. Now, since I'm on 100 milligrams, I don't, I don't be ready to conk out in minutes, but I do feel very relaxed. I do feel like I'm probably going to need an increase on my patch because the one thing that I have noticed that's really good is that the high flashes are almost gone. Almost, but not quite. I still have nice sweats and I still get a flash maybe once or twice throughout the day. But y'all, I used to get a high flash once or twice an hour before I started wearing the patch. So it is definitely helping my high flashes, but I still feel like we're gonna have to tweak it a little bit. So the goal is that I'm going to stick with this prescription for six to eight weeks. We're gonna reevaluate. She's gonna say, how am I feeling? I'm gonna tell her. And, she's, and she and I are gonna determine if I need to increase the milligrams of my patch as well as my progesterone so hopefully that makes sense in other words if you're thinking about hormone replacement therapy know that it's going to be it's, it's going to take a little bit to get you the right dosage it won't be the first time around i don't know anyone who got it right the first time around however if you have a great doctor and y'all work well together you tell her your symptoms, she tells you what she recommends, and the right dosage is there somewhere in between. And so I'm looking forward to finding just that perfect balance that's going to help me <laughs> to feel like myself again. But baby, we are on the right track because these high flashes, they have gotten so much better already, y'all. And I've only been on it less than one week. Friday will be one week and I'm super excited. Friday be a week or two weeks. As y'all can see, the brain fog is not better yet because I can't remember if it was one week or two weeks. I started on the 23rd. Today is March 4th. Today is March 5th. So we coming up on two weeks. And the high flashes are better. So I will keep you guys posted. We're going to continue on this journey together.